Hello and welcome to AmainHobbies.com. I'm Gregor McGrath, and today we're going to go over the Aerospar MultiGov setup. First, what you're going to want to do is go into your transmitter and assign the governor mode to your flight mode switch. After that is completed, we're going to want to go into our governor mode and set the three positions as follows. Position 1, 100% positive. Position 2 will be 0% and position three will be minus 100. And that will basically complete the radio setup. Once you power on the helicopter, you're gonna to wanna to hold down the next button for three seconds. This will get you into the first programming mode. The first position to adjust is speed one. This is where you're gonna go ahead and set the speeds for, for your rotor RPM in all three flight mode positions. I like to use zero and idle one and use throttle curves for the throttle. In stunt two, 1850 is really good and stunt three is 1950 for most 90 class engines. After that, we're gonna hit the gear, the next button and go to gear ratio. This is where we're gonna put the helicopter's gear ratio in. This particular helicopter is 8.20. If you don't know your helicopter's gear ratio, you can look in the manual or take your main gear and divide it by the pinion gear and that will give you your gear ratio. After that, we're gonna move on to sensor test. You can do this two ways. If you have a backplate sensor, you can turn over the engine, or you can turn the main gear, which will move the clutch bell. Next menu is set idle. After you've set your idle on your helicopter, go ahead and hit the value positive button one time. That enters you into set high throttle, and that's easy. All you have to do is go to thr high throttle position and hit the value one time, which will show you low throttle test. So all you have to do is check at your throttle and make sure that's exactly where you set your, your idle position. You hit it one more time, and that's gonna test high throttle. Next menu is governor test. This is very simple. All you have to do is flip the idle up switch to idle one or two, and you should see the governor say on. You can also by, test the throttle hold by flipping throttle hold, and you wanna make sure that the governor says off. That assures you that your governor and throttle hold is working properly. After that, Simply power down the unit and you're set to go and ready to fly. Thanks again for joining us here at amainhobbies.com.